I'm so glad you could be here for another great episode of Broadway Profiles. I'm Tamsin Fidel. Bernadette Peters, in one word, iconic. A career spanning five decades, three Tony Awards, seven nominations, and countless performances that we know and we love. And yet some might say her most important role is that of pet owner and advocate. Bernadette, along with the late Mary Tyler Moore, founded Broadway Barks, an organization devoted to finding homes for shelter dogs and cats. We caught up in Riverside Park to talk about Broadway Barks across America. Well, first of all, what a beautiful day for this, right? Gorgeous, perfect. And what could be better, two little puppies. Two puppies plus some, right? Well, let's talk about what you've been up to during this time, because I know there is still such a need with regard to animals and with Broadway Barks, and you have not let the pandemic stop you. No, we did it uh, because we couldn't gather in the in Schubert Alley. We did a virtual one, and we it was called Broadway Box Across America. So that way, we were able to help shelters all across the country, which I've been kind of wanting to do. Emmy Lou Harris has her own rescue in Nashville. Oh wow! Okay. So we added Emmy Lou Harris, and we added some in Los Angeles and some in the Midwest. And now, the shelters were helping each other. They were seeing how there was such an overabundance of dogs in Texas. Right. And then two shelters in the East, in fact, one that these guys are with, the yeah. SPCA, they uh, met, had a caravan and met in the middle and took dogs from where, do there were too many dogs to where dogs are needed. So, That's so great. So they're, they're helping each other by seeing what's going on. Well, did you see during this time um, more of a need because people have been inside, they've just been trying to, you know, take care of themselves. And I just didn't know if that, you know, made people adopt more or people were not adopting as much. Well, you know, I always knew that dogs served had a really important purpose here on the earth. And now because it, it kind of came to fruition with, with the pandemic and people really needed this kind of companionship. During yeah, this time. And, and there's no companionship like this. No. You started this with uh, Mary Tyler Moore years ago. Were you on Broadway at the time? And uh, how did you come up with the idea? Yeah, I was in Annie Get Your Gun. And we had just raised, we had won the Easter bonnet. We raised the most amount of money. And we said, what else can we do? And I said, well, I was just at the city shelter. And I saw that there was an abundance of dogs and they really need help. And there's beautiful dogs there. There's purebreds there and there's all kinds of. So we said, well, let's, you know, let's get permission to do an adoption event in the alley. And we'll get all the celebrities to come out between shows on a Saturday. And they love it. It's become their, their event. And, sure. I, you know. This, the heart of a of an actor is very huge and very loving. Aww. Hi, baby. Are you sleepy? What's amazing Aww. is you, what you realize during when you're living with a dog, 24/7. Mm -hmm. You realize what a large vocabulary they have. They and, do, and right? And how you weren't understanding <laughs> them, and then you realize, oh my God, you understand? Like mm -hmm. my, I say to my dog. Oh, darling, let's not do that now. We'll do that later. She goes, okay. And she goes, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, for people that don't know where to find uh, Broadway Barks and what you're going to be doing next, let's just talk, talk about that a little bit, the next the next step, Broadway Barks Across well, the America. Next, the next Broadway Barks virtual adoption event, and it's exciting because I'm talking to Mary Steenburgen and Ted Dancing, who I just worked with Mary on Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Oh, great. And I Zoomed with Mandy Tinkin and his wife, Catherine Brody. And I'm about to go Zoom with Whoopi Goldberg after I leave you. Hello. And then uh, Randy Rainbow. So that's fun. And then it'll be on May 23rd, Sunday night. I think it's like 7 o'clock. Okay. And you'll see the dogs that are in your area. We have the tri-state area, New Jersey, uh, you know, New York, the city. Pennsylvania, and then if you if you go online and you're in California, we have them in California. We have them all over, and hopefully you can find a companion. Oh, wonderful to save you. Exactly right. Uh, did you stay in New York during the pandemic all the time? I did. Yeah. And then finally in February, when I had my first vaccination and things were lo loosening up a little bit, I went to Vancouver to shoot. Um, to uh, Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Yo, I ain't got cash. I ain't got cash. I got you, baby. La, 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 la. What a great show, right? I love that show. Thank yeah. you so much. It's Thanks. always so good to Thank see you. you. Good to see you, so too. Good. Thanks for doing this. One more time, the 23rd Annual Broadway Barks Across America is Sunday, May 23rd at 7 p.m. Eastern, hosted by Bernadette Peters, a bunch of other celebrities, and plenty of adoptable pets. Check out broadwaybarks.com and please don't miss it.